Haley Deegan will be driving the number 13 truck full-time for Thor Sport Racing 2023. Thor Sport Racing is arguably the best team in the truck series. In 2022, Thor Sport Racing had two trucks competing for a championship. I think this will be a make or break year for Haley Deegan. Ryan Truex will compete in six races for Joker's race in the 2023 NASCAR Xfinity Series season. In 2022, Ryan Truex competed in five races for Joker's racing in the Xfinity Series. In that ride, he had a best finish of third coming up the Summer Atlanta race. I think Ryan Truex will be mostly good in his part-time ride at Joker's racing in 2023. Tony Stewart will once again be a guest commentator for Fox for the Bush Clash on February 5th and the Daytona 500 on February 19th. He was a guest commentator for Fox in those two races last year. It is interesting that Tony would do this even after he was mad at NASCAR at the end of last season. It is unknown if Natalie Decker will be in NASCAR in 2023. However, it looks like Natalie Decker was engaged over the offseason. Congratulations. It was announced on Monday that Kings Hawaiian will sponsor Brad Keselowski for multiple races in 2023 and beyond. Keselowski said, Our team and myself are really excited to continue our partnership with Kings Hawaiian, a brand that is a favorite of, of many fans and people across the country. He also said, we had a ton of fun highlighting their products and activations in 2022, but are even more excited to see what 2023 brings. We're thankful to the team at Kings Hawaiian for their continued support of our team. Look forward to a fun and successful season in 2023. Alex Bowman will have two paint schemes for Ally in 2023. He will run this paint scheme for day races. Then he'll run this paint scheme for night races. This is a fun idea. I like the day scheme more. Tell me what paint scheme is better in the comments section below. <laughs> the lineup for NASCAR's 24 Hours of Le Mans entry was revealed. The drivers are 2009 Formula 1 champion Jensen Button, former 24 Hours of Le Mans winner Mike Rockefeller, and 7-time Cup Series champion Jimmy Johnson. Because of the entry the car NASCAR is entering, this team of drivers will not be eligible to win. It was recently announced by Kurt Busch that he is still not medically cleared to race. This is a shame. The outlaw was involved in a crash at Pocono in 2022 and suffered a concussion. Later in 2022, he decided to retire from full-time racing. This sucks for our drivers who have to go out this way. Thanks for watching.